Hello, my soccer universe. Well, I won't have the time to make a dedicated preview for League R starting this weekend. However, I have decided let's have a look at all the shirts that I have from French clubs, only two of which are not playing in League R this season. And since I'm gonna show you all these shirts, I decided on the background I'm gonna put uh, the national team shirts of the nations that are most represented in Ligue 1. I mean, it's mostly French, but you know, Senegal, uh, Brazil, Mali, Algeria, and so on are all in there. Algeria, of course, right behind me. And I also decided, um, since there are quite a few white shirts, to so not have the direct light on me, so there's a lot of natural light, I think it may make the shirts come out better. I'm not showing you all my French jerseys. I'm wearing PSG, the third kit from 1920. Uh, but I show you from each team one jersey and it's only PSG where I have more than one so far. So anyway, uh, my PSG shirts are widely available on my webpage anyway. I would say let's get started. And how do I start? Of course, we'll do it alphabetically because that you don't know. I sort the jerseys in my wardrobe first by country and then alphabetically within them. Yeah, yeah, I'm that crazy. But you need to need to have order. And the first one is unfortunately a team that's now in Ligue 2, which is Amiens. Recently got this one because of the unicorns. It is this classic. Uh, I think it's from the 1920 season. The classic Puma template that we had. Back then, lots of sponsors, as we usually have in the, in, in, in the French League, and rather plain on the back, but there is a backside sponsor too. But yeah, it's a shirt that's because of the unicorns I wanted to have. And the one thing I'm a little bit disappointed, everything is plastic print uh, printed on there. So it will not be a shirt that I'll be wearing a whole lot, but it is definitely in the collection. Next up is a team that will not only see in league, uh, but for sure in Europe, potentially the Champions League. And this is my, uh, it's Monaco. Uh, this is the away shirt, I want to say 13-14 by Macron. Uh, I got it this year. Uh, I know when I saw it uh, initially, uh, I was not so fond. And you know, the classic Monaco design with um, uh, kind of uh, diagonal uh, stripe. But I have to say, uh, it is really nice because of all the Mo uh, flag of Monaco references. This is the flag of Monaco, here is a flag of Monaco going, going, going around, and even on the sides, you have a flag of Monaco, and here as well. So a pretty nice shirt. All overall, another Macron stunner, I have to say. Moving on to the next team. Ah, it's a big one. You can already guess, maybe. <laughs> this is, of course, Girondin de Bordeaux. Uh, it's 1718 home as far as, as, as I know, and as far as I read, they're going back to the old logo, which is this one. I'm not too unhappy about that one, although I know it's very intricate. And I always wondered why this little pattern here is not made a little bit more prominent in a way. It is the classic um, chevron design for Bordeaux. I really love the color, kind of a granddad color. Um, and it, it makes a little bit special with all the dots in here. So I really like that one. And although the sponsor is com making a completely different color, that there is a sun on there makes it really, really nice. It's a jersey that I overall enjoy very, very much. Definitely one of my favorites in my French collection. Next up, we have the champions, the defending champ champions. Most likely they will not become champion champions again, but what a story this was, and what a story to get this jer jersey, but this is uh, for a separate video. Uh, this is only my second ever New Balance shirt, and I'm, uh, it's always curious how they put uh, this design, and I heard now how this is called, but I cannot remember it. Um, very interesting uh, chest band. I would love to know a little bit the idea behind this design. I just thought this is very interesting. Look at Lil had a few really interesting shirts uh, since they are with New Balance. Uh, the new logo, yeah, we can discuss. I actually don't find it all that bad, especially for a digital age. Um, it's a little bit more. I, it's still to me that this should be a dog. It's very, very hard to tell. You need to know a lot. This was a New Balance feature that I'm not so fond of, but uh, at least it, they have the team nickname Le Dog back there. 
Now, one that has not been worn yet, but I'm very, very fond of to have. Uh, this was released at the end of the 2021 season, but was not worn in match, unfortunately. But it's a reissue of the 2000-2001 championship winning jersey of Nantes. That, was the, that one was made by Le Coq Sportif. And the story, as you uh, maybe know, you see the Nantes scarf up there. I was in 2000 there and I didn't buy a jersey. So I was very happy that this is re, uh, got re-released. And I'm even more happy that, I've, that I could get a Nantes jersey for a semi-decent price with the nice crest with the um, uh, ship on there. I absolutely love this crest. The new one with the N is not bad to be honest, but I love this one a whole lot more. Uh, the one thing with non jerseys, but they have this now for quite a while, is the red sponsor on there. That I never got, but this is a design that I would like to see back on the, on the pitch and I would, I would love if they would wear it again. It's it's an absolute classic. I finally have a non shirt. This is really, really, I love not. Uh, just for the bright green and bright yellow. Uh, they have all, always been a team that stood out for me. The next one is unfortunately um, a team that's also in Ligue 2. They got uh, rarely relegated, but what a, cla what a great jersey this is. This is the away jersey from 1920 of Nîmes Olympique. Le Croc, that's why I like it, because crocs are my favorite animal. And we have the croc print. Yes, I think that the um, home jersey and the third jersey might have even looked a little bit better. But I have I have to even there the, the scale pattern. Uh, and while the... Um, Amiens shirt had everything printed on here. It, uh, uh, you know, a uh, screen printed on here. It is really within the fabric. So that is a shirt that I'm gonna wear a whole lot because it's really nice that nothing's gonna wash out and I absolutely love it. You see even the croc pattern even better on, on the back. This is a favorite jersey of mine. The only thing is that it doesn't feature much of ventilation. That's maybe the one thing I would like to have. But, you know, all the sleeve logos and, and so on. It's a great shirt and I'm very, very happy that I have this in my collection. Unfortunately, Neem is currently not in league. Uh, now, let's go back to 08, 09, I think, for Olympique Lyonnais. That one was the steal at the end of last year. I think I got this for a total of 11 euros, including shipping. Absolute classic, a wonderful shirt, a really well crack, uh, crafted. I especially like the, and now you can see a, 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 actually the pattern that I'm not, not using. Can you see the pattern here on, on, on the back, the ven ven ventilation pattern? Uh, it is a typically 2000 style with, you know, slivers here, slivers there. But other than that, uh, if that was not uh, there, I think it would be even an absolute classic. The one thing that's a little bit I don't know if disappointing is the uh, right way to say it, but uh, those stripes are kind of glued on extra material, which is really, really weird. I have not seen that before, but maybe uh, I hope this will stick for longer so that I'm also careful with this shirt. Uh, I really like what they did here inside of the collar and the crest. Really nice. You know, you have also the sparkly on the back of the Puma jerseys had in 2008. Um, Classic Lyon style. This is how a Lyon shirt show should look like. Ever since uh, Adidas took over, they went a little bit wild with it. I absolutely love this off-center stripe. And yes, that PSG jersey is very much like a Lyon jersey. But they wore it this way at home for a season in the early, very early 90s. Let's stay with the Olympique. And we go, of course, to probably France's biggest, second big, big biggest team. And this is OM, also 1920. I have a lot of jerseys from 1920, I gotta say. Um, this is a sponsorless version of the kind of centenary. It's not the official cent. Uh, no, it's not centenary. 120 years, 189, 99. 120 uh, 20 years short, but at least it has the crest here. The pinstriping is the feature that I really like a lot. I think it was the first Puma shirt for Marseille. And um, I'm not sure if you can see it. I've made, I made a video that it actually says Olympique de Marseille in within the pinstripes, which is a really nice touch. The one thing that I do regret, no pinstriping on the back, however, we have the cross here. And this is kind of Puma trying to do Nike without being really Nike. You have this taping here. And yeah, it stretches out nicely, but since the collar is on top here, uh, it doesn't stretch much further than that. So I wonder about the functionality and what was the thought behind this. But yeah, Marseille shirts, 
Although I'm not a Marseille fan, Marseille shirts are always some of the nicest in all of Europe, I gotta say. Uh, and now let's go to the big rival, of course, and this is my oldest league uh, jersey. Not the one that I have the longest, but it's the oldest. It's, of course, the PSG 95-96 home shirt. This is how they were in the league, uh, and most of the time in Europe for the final, the, the one against Rap Rapid Vienna. And yes, I repeat it again, in that final, I was not for the Austrian team, I was for PSG because I have just been to Paris and PSG at that moment was my, definitely my third favorite team in all of Europe. Classic PSG. I wish they would go back to pretty much exactly that design. Uh, even and especially the shade of blue we had this last season, but you're not here. It also is on the back. It's, a, it's one of the classic designs and I don't know why PSG isn't using it more often. I even like the old logo better than the current one. Yes. There's no Paris there, but it's there is not even writing around it. Of course, they had the secondary one, which was sometimes used on the home jersey. And we will finish with another jersey from up north, a team that is, as I hear, owned by Salma Ayek, part owned because uh, her husband is bankrolling it in a way, and this is of course Stade René. Very happy to have this one too. I've been to the city, I've been in that state, in the stadium also in 2000, but I only got a scarf, which probably should hang somewhere here as well. Uh, it would definitely deserve it. This is the 2021 design. I absolutely love this Crafted by Culture. It's definitely one of the best Crafted by Culture designs I have to, I have to say. I really, really like this mosaic pattern on there. The crest, um, yeah, is... Well, well, what is I really like the big Samsung sponsor as well. And the one thing I'm always a little bit disappointed with the craft with the Puma template back back then, as you know, it's kind of this plain back and it goes over the shoulders. There's no, I mean, it goes over the sleeves, but it looks a little bit weird here on the shoulders. Then we have also the date of founding. Yes, they celebrated also 120 years and brought out a really interesting jersey there as well. So. Those are from each of the French teams that I have a uh, jersey. You got to see one shirt and I hope you enjoyed that. Please let me know which ones of these you like best. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.